Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to another Friday new product post. We've got a couple things to talk about, so let's dig right in and see what we've got. This is the ML8511 UV sensor. As the name suggests, this is a sensor for detecting UV. UV is a specific spectrum of light that comes off of the sun, and this sensor is made to detect anywhere from around 290 to 380 nanometers wavelength of light. Here we have the UV sensor hooked up to this little um, demonstration here. We've got an Arduino running into one of our analog meters. The reason we did this instead of just going directly into the meter is the light level is very low, extremely low in here, and it's actually really low outside. We only have a UV index that's low to medium, I think, right now, which is really low for Colorado. So we're just using the Arduino to remap the output so we get a little bit more movement out of the meter. So we're going to plug this in. You'll see that needle move just a tiny bit. There we go. Just a tiny little bit from the um, needle. The reason that is is because we're using studio lights in here which don't really have the correct spectrum that this is expecting to see. This is only going to register the UV spectrum and that's the only thing it's made to measure. But with a traditional light sensor you would actually see a good amount of light. So this allows you to separate the visible spectrum from the UV spectrum and just measure the UV spectrum. As you can see from the meter, we're slightly over two because we're outside, and if I cover it up, you can see the meter go down. And it is a low UV day today, so, you know, this would be a terrible day to sun tan. Only an idiot would try and tan on a day like this with such low UV. Hey, I'm Pete with SparkFun Electronics, and I am introducing the Binary Blaster. This is a through-hole PTH kit that we sell. You get all the parts loose in a box and then you get to build it yourself. And it's designed to teach you to convert from decimal values to binary. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you know what binary is that are watching, but for those of you who don't, um, it's kind of like the fundamental building blocks of computers, basically. You always have these memory slots that are either one or zero. And so with binary, you can store information onto a hard drive or something. And so this right here has four little memory slots, and they can be zero or one. And so the combination of zeros and ones is what gets you from decimal to binary. So you can simply just watch it to learn binary conversion, but you can also hit any button to start the game. And now when it shoots an eight at me, I need to press the right binary equivalent. So the way binary works is eight, four, two, and one, but I can press the equivalent, and if I get through all 15, I've won the game. One other fun thing I want to mention about this is uh, if you start it up with the bit zero pressed, there's a special mode where now you have to convert from hex values to binary, which is a little more challenging and uh, kind of a useful conversion to know. So those are the new products we have for this week. Of course, we always have more new products on the website, so if you go ahead and check that out at www.sparkfun.com, we'll have a few more goodies for you. And of course, happy Pi Day, everyone. <laughs> I think that'll probably be long enough. Oh.